Welcome to this Unreal Engine 5 video about Lumen. So let's talk a little bit about it. So we're inside Unreal Engine 5 here and we have this little environment set up here just to show off a little bit about Lumen. So Lumen is this new lightning technique that uh, was revealed with Unreal Engine 5 which is getting hyped and it's a pretty cool system although it's not without its flaws it is a a way for Unreal Engine to use ray tracing without using the other system that's called ray tracing which is basically the technology of trying to imitate reality where if light rays bounce off a certain surface and then continues bouncing it will bring some of that color with it to wherever it bounces next and then keep doing that and that is what this system is supposed to be doing let's uh, show how easy it is to set up so in unreal engine 5 it will most likely be uh, set up by default you can go to your project settings and if you go to uh, engine under rendering let's dock that up here you'll have some uh, categories here that are related to lumen so you have the global illumination here you see that it's set to lumen already you have the options of screen space and the ray traced uh, you have reflections here where you can choose a reflection method and use lumen as well and you also have a lumen category here so this is where you you choose to activate lumen if you want to have lumen if you don't currently have it activated other than that there are a few other places you can also set it up in a post process volume which we do not have in this level currently so if you go under create and the uh, volumes and the post process volume and under here by searching for lumen you'll get some results here for global illumination and you'll have also for reflection here where you can edit it and you can also add some other options here there is also um, is it intensity let's see to go to our directional light here I think um, so here you have some stuff related to light uh, so indirect lighting intensity which will be causing yeah that's the only one uh, which will be h how strong your light is um, I'm having such problems talk, speaking and typing intensity there we go um, so the intensity here you can uh, bump up and down if you want to and it will be affecting the the strength of the bounces in the light uh, so there are some configurations you can use to alter how your your light is supposed to look now like I said there, this this is not a perfect system at least not currently it might be improved upon later on uh, it does suffer some issues with uh, shadows sometimes being a little bit uh, fuzzy or uh, unclear uh, in certain situations uh, so it, uh, it's it's not a perfect method at all times but it is pretty powerful and pretty cool just by itself and you might have seen uh, some people playing around with it. it it became kind of popular that uh, if you were to have a emissive material on a uh, an object it would light up really cool and have it bouncing around like it was an actual light inside of a view and it actually also is uh, related to the size of the object so you can have something big and it gives a really cool effect and 
yeah, just in general, the the lighting is it gives a very realistic look of uh, or a realistic feel of how real light behaves and looks. So it is very very cool, and it will give a lot of scenes a lot of life just by its power uh, but do keep in mind that it, it does have some limitations and it might cause some problems and if you're experimenting around with it in the beginning uh, do be aware also that some of the things that might be problems now might be fixed down the road as well by epic hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning.